here welcome back to our channel so as you can see we are going to be learning how to make some very soft fluffy delicious donuts from the scratch okay you guys just make sure you watch this video till the end and without wasting your time let us get started immediately so you're going to be needing some flour this is your all-purpose flour so we're going to start by sifting our flour first before we measure it because when you're making your donut measurements are very important and the reason why we are sifting our flour is just to get rid of any dirt or shaft and also to just make the flour lighter and easy to work with so now that our flour is done well sifted we are now going to measure so for this measurement we are going to be using about 500 100 grams of your flour to achieve this we are going to be needing a scale this is a digital scale and we are going to measure our flour so you're going to start by putting your bowl on the scale set it to zero okay and then pour your flour in till it gets to 500 can you guys can you guys see what it's currently reading it's reading 359 it's not up to 500 yet so you have to keep adding your flour till it gets to 500 on the dot if it's more than you take it out if it's lesser than that you just keep adding till it gets to 500 so this is it this is 504 for, uh -uh, it's too much you are going to take it out a little bit out can you guys see a uh hair -huh. this is 500 grams of our flour so we are going to set it aside apart from the flour you're also going to be measuring your butter okay this is your margarine rather i'm using margarine you can use any brand okay so we're also going to be measuring about 50 grams of this margarine okay so now we have our margarine so we are just going to start mixing immediately without wasting time so i have in the bowl the margarine drain this is your yeast your um, active yeast your instant yeast and you also need some sugar as well you're going to pour this in your mix and you get one medium sized egg it could be large size whatever size you have just get one egg and you're also going to break this in and you're also going to be adding some water your normal ordinary water you guys the full list of the ingredients including their measurement will be in the description so just make sure you check it now it's about to get messy with your hands you're going to mix this together till it forms a dough okay till it becomes a dough if you have a mixer this is the point where you have to bring it out to just help you mix it but if you don't have ah you have to get ready because we have to knead this dough till it is soft fluffy and very smooth okay and this could take about 25 minutes i kid you not guys if you want your dough not to come out very fluffy and soft you have to be ready to knead if you have a mixer good for you just go ahead and use your mixer till it is soft okay but if you don't have all you have to do is just to fly a work surface okay get a work surface it could be your countertop um fly it and then drop in your dough and be ready to knead continuously like this you guys <laughs> with both hands if you like till it is fluffy and soft you guys i have to set a timer for this and at approximately 25 minutes this is what we have look at what our dough is looking like you guys the difference is very clear like it's totally worth it okay so i would suggest that you just take your time with kneading but if you have a mixer it could take about half the time okay so just get a mixer if you can but i'm using this method because i don't want anybody to say oh because i don't have a mixer that is why i couldn't make my donuts fluffy like yours nah you don't have any excuse right now <laughs> okay so this is our dough so soft fluffy smooth it's already getting stretchy and about to rise so the next thing today is that we are going to now cut our donut into donuts you guys into smaller sizes you can use your knife to just cut okay and for the sake of accuracy we are also going to be measuring the the size of the donut you are cutting okay so that one donut will not be bigger than another so i'm using my digital scale again to measure and i'm measuring about 75 grams so each of the donut size should be about 75 grams so you are going to just um, keep on measuring removing adding till you get the 75 grams on the dot okay so this one right here is on five grams and you're going to repeat the same for the other do not till you get about 12 pieces medium-sized pieces of your donut now you guys because i didn't want the donut to dry out i have to cover it up with a nylon okay till i am ready to roll so you take one of the donut pieces just you know roll into a ball by folding the edges fold fold continuously like this 
and then just to make sure that everything is well tucked in okay so after folding you are now going to just seal up the edges just make sure that there are no cracks there are no oil so this part you are going to just seal it up just seal it up till you are sure that there are no cracks anywhere and there is also no oil at all okay <music> now you're going to oil your work surface okay just add a little bit of vegetable oil and then you're going to just use your dough put your dough on it and you are going to just roll it yes and this is because you want the dough to come out looking like a perfect ball give it a perfect ball shape so just make sure you roll round roll it round it should look like this and then you can just eat it on the floor one or two times just release any excess bubbles or any excess air um, in the donut okay and then continuously roll till you are sure that the donut has given you a perfect ball shape okay so look at the donut looking all you know oiled up looking like a ball and now you can now set it aside okay so let's do another one just be sure that you got it so you fold the edges in slowly gently take your time especially if you are just uh, doing this for the first time okay and then you're going to just seal it up to be sure that there are no hole there are no cracks in your do not so just seal it up nicely like this and then when you're done sealing on a oiled surface okay you're going to drop your donuts on it and you're going to just um roll the donuts like you're going to roll the donuts on that oiled surface okay so that it can be easy to get that perfect ball like shape that we want for these donuts okay so as you're rolling you're going to get a parchment paper also known as your baking paper sprinkle some flour on it so that it will not stick emphasis on sprinkle your flour because hmm, okay just sprinkle your flour on it and then drop the ball in one by one okay so this is what is looking like so we are done with this particular one sprinkle some flour and then drop the ball and then use your hand to press it down just a little bit just so that it can expand a little bit okay so now we have our dough we have about 12 pieces in here and we are now going to cover this dough and leave it to rise for an extra one hour you guys okay 45 minutes to one hour depending on how much time that you have okay and as you guys can see i also sprinkle the top with some flour so that when i put this nylon over it it will not stick you can use any nylon you can use you can even put this in your oven to rise just put make sure you put it in a warm place okay so now after one hour this is what our donut is looking like you guys everything is looking well fluffy is looking soft all puffed up and ready to fry you guys <laughs> this is going to be the best donut you would ever make if you follow this um, recipe like step by step so this is our oil our vegetable oil and we are going to just test that it's hot enough by sprinkling sprinkling a little bit of flour and then when it starts to sizzle you know it's hot enough your oil must not be too hot and sprinkling your flour is just the perfect way to test if it's okay so now one by one take the donut with your parchment paper can you guys see why i was emphasizing on sprinkling your flour in your paper because if you don't it's going to stick to your baking sheet but don't worry you can just put the baking sheet and the donut in like that it's going to come out later on okay so this is it just fry and then when you notice that the other side is starting to get brown just you know use your stick use your spoon spatula to just turn it up okay and you can tell you've done a good job when you get that perfect ring around your donut just look at this you guys this is going to be one of the best donuts you'd ever make okay i kid you not you're going to absolutely love it soft fluffy delicious sweet so you're going to take your donut out one by one it doesn't take time as long as your oil is not too hot or too 
pulled okay just make sure it's in the middle okay so we're going to take our do not out and you guys repeat the same for the other batches and you guys it's time for us to ask this do not it's skincare routine because what's this just look at just look at the freshness and the beauty of this donut <laughs> so when you're done this is what your donut should be looking like okay so if this is your first time on this channel yeah you're welcome my name is Tosin and my mission is to help you become a better home cook and today's shout out is going out to Nazo. thank you for dropping a comment in our previous post if you want a shout out make sure you drop a comment under this post as well and you guys this is our donut what recipe do you want us to make next please just drop your suggestion in the comment section and i'll be waiting to hear from you thank you so much guys for watching bye guys